They say third time's a charm and today we're really going to be hoping that it is because for the third season in a row we're in a Carabao Cup final but hopefully this time we won't lose it the same way we have the other two and just throwing on top of that the next day we've got to play PSG in the Champions League to stay in the competition. It doesn't get much harder than this so let's run the intro and get right into it. Hi everyone, Jake here. Welcome to the series. Hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. We hopefully will be feeling that way after today's episode where, like I say, we've got PSG in the Champions League and then Chelsea in the Carabao Cup final. And since you last saw us, we've managed to pull away-ish at the top of the Premier League. Not really when you look at games in hand, but we'll get into all of that in a second. Before we get properly into the video though, if you guys could show your support and smash the like button for me, I'd massively, massively appreciate it if we could get 100 likes. So any support will be amazing. Subscribe if you haven't already. 40% of you watching still aren't. And drop a comment down below if you want to get involved. There's a Discord in the description where you can ask all of your football manager questions. And with that being said, We've got two big games today. Let's get right into them. So just before we start them, let's cover where we've been since you've last saw us. You saw us play this Gladbach game at the end of January. From there, we won all of the games in the Cup and the Premier League in February, as we should have done, all very much winnable. We then beat Wigan in the FA Cup, Wolves away in the Premier League, which was a good result. And then PSG 3-0 away from home in the Champions League round of 16. We had Ian Acho Baradi and Calvert-Lewin getting the goals there, and we will face them today. But first, First, we must go to Wembley and play Chelsea, who are the favourites for the Carabao Cup. In terms of the Premier League, though, we are sitting pretty comfortably at the top of the table, clear from everyone but Liverpool. They're the only ones that can really catch us now at this point. I mean, things can change soon, but right now, they're the only ones kind of in and around us. If they win both of their games, they will be above us. Even if they win one and draw one, they'll still be above us. So realistically, we're not really top, but we kind of are. Champions League, we're flying. And then in the FA Cup, we're still in it with a lot of big teams already knocked out. And the Carabao are in the final. So it could be a great season for us. Still on for a potential quadruple, but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. But first, we need to focus in on this Chelsea game. We're still waiting on a youth intake as well right now. Um, but all focus for me, because of how well we did in the PSG first leg, will be on this match. So I'm going to play our best 11 here. So let me quickly pick that. So I'm going for Bayern Deer in goal. Justin, Sutalo and Gavardio. Silva is suspended for this match. Tirik Mitchell at left back, who is now wanted by PSG of all clubs, the team that we're facing off against. He must have impressed them a lot in the last game. We then have Ndidi, Drewsbury Hall, Madison, Shelderup, Calvert-Lewin and Ian Atch as our 11. I'm very much ready for this game. With where Chelsea are in the league, you'd hope with where we are in the league as well, we could beat them. But you know how we have been in these finals recently. Still haven't got any silverware in this series, despite being super successful in our three seasons, playing way above the levels that we should do, but still no silverware. We've got a pretty nice team out today. I'm just going to mute my phone so that stops buzzing during the match. A manager's got to stay focused. Um, they have got Edouard Mendy, Rhys James, Fafana, Perez, Chilwell, Kante, Mount Jorginho, Ossie Men, Sterling and Havertz. Right, we can do this. Today's going to be the one. For some reason, this doesn't look like Wembley, but I'm sure it must be. Let's slow the game down a little bit so it's not too hard to keep up with. And let's get right into it then. So, no idea how this is going to play out. Please don't concede straight away. Oh my word, man. 15 seconds in, we've let Mason Mount score. I'm telling you, off camera we're perfect. And then as soon as you guys are watching us, it just doesn't go well. And then bloody Carabao Cup finals seem to be the bane of us. We lost the first two and now we're off to a terrible, terrible start in this first one. We're cut behind far too easily. They're 1-0 up. That is not going to be good for our confidence at this stage and we'll berate them and hope that we can pull a goal back early so that we can forget about that early goal. But there is another highlight after seven minutes and you would hope it's us. If not, we're going to struggle today. Here is Madison. Madison's going to play it forward to Ian Acho, but it doesn't get there. Fafana heads it away as far as Justin. Fafana against his old club, of course, and but we're doing okay. Madison's on the ball. Kante gets in, but it's a poor pass from him. Straight into Calvert-Lewin's path. It's a good save from Mendy and Calvert-Lewin can't turn it in from a tough angle. But there you go. We're forcing Chelsea into a mistake. A very old Kante messing up there for them. Dewsbury Hall is going to follow in with the corner. He crosses it, doesn't get as far as Ndidi, but that's good pressure and it's what we want to do to try and counteract that first goal that we've conceded. Good shot by Sotalo there, but just over. But yeah, as I always say, we've been in absolutely fantastic form, so it's a surprise we've even conceded here. Like we've been dominating in our matches when I'm doing them on my laptop between videos and yeah, uh, it just surprised me we've conceded so early. Outside of that though, I mean, possession has been fairly even. Chances have been in our favour since that Mason Mount one 
Um, so hopefully we can just get a goal, make it even again, and then take it from there. In my opinion, we deserve to win the first Carabao Cup final against United. We lost in penalties. The second one was a really annoying loss as well. I feel like we could have won both. Um, but we go into half time, not creating many chances at all. Same goes for Chelsea. Um, I don't think I gave the best team talk there, but let's see if we can change things in the second half. We do have a highlight straight away, and if hopefully it'll be better than that first highlight we had at the start of the first half. Maybe it'll be us this time who gets a goal within 15 seconds of the half commencing. It's Havertz, though. On to Mason Mount. They're coming out of the blocks flying here, Chelsea. Gavardi old as well. Finds Sotalo. Sotalo to Dewsbury Hall. Ian Acho. He's tackled by Mount, but Shoulderup's going to run onto it. Can someone make themselves a hero here today? He takes a shot. What a goal by Andrea Shoulderup. That's brilliant. And I mentioned that we might want to score straight away in the second half like they did. And we've done exactly that. But I did not expect him to score that then. He's rifled it in the back of the net. Mendy stood no chance. A great little break there. I mean, he takes the ball in here after a bit of a late tackle from Mount. Picks it up and you think, well, he's not going to be able to score from there. He keeps driving. He keeps driving. Gets into the box and blasts it past Edouard Mendy in goal. It's 1-1. And now on the balance of things, I feel like we look like the stronger team here. We've had more of the chances that we've seen so far. But as I've said that, Chelsea have got a highlight straight away, probably looking to score another. But just for once, I'd love to go in the lead in one of these finals. So I actually think we could see it out. But here is Havertz to James. James finds Ossiemen who's through, looked a bit offside to me, wasn't given, it is now. There you go, he was offside, but poor shot from him anyway. We won't mind that too much. Hopefully our bench will come in good for us here, but Mason Mount is playing in the corner. Ossiemen gets his head to it, far wide. Don't really know why that's considered a key highlight, but he has missed it. And we're very happy with that. Madison not having a great game, nor is Justin. I think it's about time we make some substitutions here just to try and get this win. We will probably go into extra time if we don't end it here. Um, so let's get Berardi on. There's no real replacements that I actually want to bring on in defence. If anything, I think Ian Acho could come off for Daka, who is in form. And despite shoulder up scoring, I think we're going to bring on Pedro Goncalves, who, by the way, let me just quickly show you. Been fantastic since signing. I mean, four goals in seven Premier League games, scored in a few cup competitions and a very good average match rating. We're definitely not weakening our tide by bringing him on. It just gives them an extra fresh bit of impetus on that left-hand side. Since we scored that goal in the second half, it seems to be all Chelsea and it's starting to go in their favour, both possession-wise and chances-wise. But we just need that one moment. We're used to cup finals now. We should be able to win one, finally. I mean, we lost the Champions League final as well, remember? We've been in a lot of cup finals without winning. Will it be heartbreak here in the 86th minute? Chelsea go forward. It's Kovacic. Pedro Goncalves gets in there well, though. He's going to try and initiate a counter-attack, but it doesn't quite come off. Mason Mount, Justin heads away. Come on, someone on our team get there, please. Pulisic. This is building up too long. It's going to be a Chelsea goal, isn't it? Reese James with a volley. Just over. Oh, my word. This has got me heart in mouth. I really just want to win a trophy just so we can get that out of the way. And we know that we've won something. I know the Carabao isn't the best in the world, but it's still something to win, right? Um, and Didi comes off injured, which is not good news. We're going to bring on um, Sander Berg there. And I'm going to take off Turek Mitchell for Trufa. Trufa hasn't been great for us since signing, but Mitchell hasn't had a great game. Can't get too much worse than him, I wouldn't have thought. Um, but there we go. We're into extra time. 1-1. It won't go straight to penalties, I don't believe. I'm going to say it's not good enough. It's unacceptable. And see if we can inspire something in our players here. Calvert-Lewin, though. Very tired. I'm bringing on Vita Roque up front for Calvert-Lewin, switching Daka's roll around, and that is all of our subs used, and hopefully it'll be enough here. Who knows, though? Can our bench come in clutch for us? Here's Justin. We do have a highlight. It's Pedro Goncalves on the left-hand side. He wins it off Mason Mount in the box. Was he brought down for a penalty? It doesn't look like he was. And Reese Jane is going to try and launch the counter-attack. The Kakus came on off the bench. That's going to be quite tough to deal with. Um, but Reese James is still driving through. Finds Pulisic, but it's poor from him. And we do win it back. But we've given it away to Romelu Lukaku. For God's sake, man. Every bloody time in these cup finals. Lukaku comes off the bench, scores after a mistake from the defenders. Fell asleep there, we did. I think it was Sotalo. Um, and, and now we're losing in the cup final yet again in extra time. And Chelsea going to try and pile on the misery here with a Pulisic corner into Lukaku. And he is looking dangerous since coming on. But here come Chelsea. They're coming forward again. It's that big man, Romelu Lukaku, coming on completely fresh, driving past all of our defenders. This time he finds Kovacic, who finds Mount onto Kante. I have a feeling this has ended up in a goal. I really do. I don't feel like this is going to go our way right now. Levi Colville on for Chelsea too. He's driving into the space. He takes the long range shot. And again, just over. We're allowing a lot of long shots today. In the last 15, I think we're just going to have to go very attacking, super direct and hope we can get something. Unless, Dewsbury Hall plays it in. Sanderberg can't get there. Goncalves does though. Finds Gavardio. Gavardio back out to Dewsbury Hall. Onto Sanderberg. Come on, someone put this in. Put it into the box. Don't give it away to them again. 
Justin, Dewsbury Hall headed away. Oh, how can I even commentate over this? It's just horrible, horrible football from us, but we're trying to pile it into the box somehow. Dewsbury Hall tries to play the incisive ball through. Colville loses it. Vito Roque! Come on, 2-2. Two -two. Second half of extra time, we're going to be level at 2-2 two -two again. I swear, if we lose on penalties, I'm, I'm actually going to cry. I'm actually going to cry. Vito Roque does very well there. Colville, unfortunate from a young man, but he does give us an easy goal. Just has all the time in the world. Dally's on it, and Berardi's able to sneak in there, pick it up, pull it across to Vito Roque in tons of space to finish the chance. And there we go. Oh, no, come on. Get us into the second half of extra time, please. Berardi's not getting sets. What are you doing, man? He sent off for a stupid tackle. What are these players playing at? He was one of our best penalty takers as well. Oh, I'm, I'm genuinely annoyed. You might be able to tell here, but I actually am. Um, right, instead I'm going to do Goncalves over there. Uh, Daka in the middle. Let's bring Vito Roque back. Let's drop them into a bit of more of a supporting role. Come on, I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just hoping for penalties now. Uh, let's, yeah, let's get into the second half of extra time. Got no subs left or anything like that. We've just got to pray and hope here. I know people will be saying go defensive, but it never works for me when I've lost a man. I prefer just to keep some kind of structure. I mean, if I go defensive, I feel like I just invite Chelsea on and they'll score. I mean, this highlight is us on the ball, but I've got a feeling we are going to lose it pretty soon. Vita Roque, though, he keeps battling, does get past James, but then gives it away. Now it's going to be Kai Havertz initiating a counter-attack. Again, it's Sotalo being left behind by Romelu Lukaku. And he puts it past by Andir. I'm finding Berardi like a million weeks wages right now. How can we have been in three Carabao Cup finals, one Champions League final, and never won any of them, and pretty much all of them go to extra time or penalties or something? sotalo has been destroyed there for pace. Lukaku's been the major difference for Chelsea since coming on. Um, and, I mean, what can I do? There's another highlight. I was about to go very attacking and just throw all the guns in the bleed. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I was just going to throw everything forward and hope it does something, but... It's not happening, is it? Is Levi Colville. He's going to play Koulibaly. They're going to work it forward. And unless we've got someone who can initiate a very quick counter-attack with 10 men, I think we're done for now. Chelsea might even add a fourth. Is it going to be a Lukaku hat-trick? He's in the box. Mason mounts there. We do manage to get it away, only as far as Pulisic. Poor header, though, from that player there. Kovacic takes... Uh, it's look... <sighs> breathe. Just breathe. This man came on in extra time, guys. I'm sure he did, and he scored a hat trick. I, I, I'm just so annoyed, man. We bought. It's worked so hard to get back in the game, and then Berardi just goes and does that. What, what, what can we do? Go on, then, Dakar. What's that, man? What are you doing? Jesus, come on! Don't, don't make it five four. This is just embarrassing. As if we've lost the Carabao Cup final four two to Chelsea. I'm not joking, I'm finding Berardi as much as I can for that, because that is just shocking, man. We're in extra time and he just comes out of nowhere as a sub and makes a horror tackle for no apparent reason at all. Three Carabao Cups lost in a row. I'm not watching Chelsea celebrate. I'm a Chelsea fan, but right now, I mean, I didn't mean to say I'm satisfied with your efforts, but if it seems to make the boys happy, that's all I'm bothered about in a football manager sense. I want to keep the morale up, right? But that's just terrible. To let the Kaku come on and destroy us like that. I'm just going to the EFL Cup now, just to show you the history, past winners, Leicester, 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 runners up every single time. Chelsea, Man United, it doesn't matter who it is, it batter us, and yeah, I'm going to get straight onto the PSG game, and hopefully we can put in a better performance there. Here's something interesting, between the two games, loads of these messages came up, saying that we're cancelling a load of friendlies, don't really understand why, but our intake, which was meant to be a good one, is now apparently an average one, we were meant to be getting a very good left wing back coming through, He's terrible, but instead, we get an attacking midfielder on the right with five-star potential. Let's see if he can actually be any good based on his attributes. Uh, chances are probably not looking at him. I mean, yeah, and he's also inconsistent. I don't think this guy will go very far, but Aiden Slack is the best player out of our latest youth intake. And Jacob Cropley um, is also actually a pretty decent centre-back. Good passer, good tackler, good determination. Maybe this guy could turn into something good. Very consistent as well. I'm happy with him. I think he'll be a very good player for us long term like that i like that not a bad youth intake we'll definitely upgrade our under 18s uh, but yeah i'll meet you back in the psg game right after a lot of clicking around we are actually here for the match against psg three nil up if we somehow lose this i'll be absolutely furious but you would think we should be okay here and we're at home as well in this leg so overall we should qualify but i actually want to win the match so you guys can see us win on camera let's pick our side here i guess it'll be slightly rotated 
Um, but there's some people that just have to start. A lot of players are suspended for today, which is not great. But I think this is a team that should do the job for us. Trufa, not too sure about, but we're going to go for that. Mitchell didn't do too much to convince me in the last game. Hopefully this team will be fine. You might see that Goncalves was up front there. He's been doing that from time to time and doing a good job. A very versatile player. Um, and I really just would like to win a match on camera, man. It's been a little bit of a while. And after that performance in the uh, Carabao... I'd like something to be happy about. We've got to remain positive, though. That game's done. We can't focus on that. The aim of this series is, of course, to win the Champions League. Whether it happened in year one or year 10, that is when the series will end. And right now, I mean, this is a pretty good chance, right? We can knock out a very big club in the Champions League. They have Neymar, Mbappe, Messi as the front three, a very good back four. A win here would be massive. I mean, to go through and knock PSG out raises our chances massively of getting far in this competition. One thing I forgot to mention as well, I think I briefly covered it, but in the qualification rounds, in the uh, phase one of the Champions League this year, we played Bayern Munich and we beat them 5-2. Bear in mind, this is a team that battered us in the Champions League final last year. It bodes well, right? If we can stay in the competition and keep playing this well, who knows how far we could go. The Premier League's still up for grabs. The FA Cup's still up for grabs. Hopefully by the end of the season, we'll have forgotten the fact that there was ever an issue with the Carabao Cup. Um, but Calvert-Lewin goes very close there. I didn't mean to say, but we're in the second half now and not a single highlight. There was our first one, a Calvert-Lewin header off the post. Even if it's just a 1-0 win, as long as we're going through in the Champions League, I won't be too bothered. I'd just like a nice win to cap off this video. Also, I'm sure there's some people out there as well, probably annoyed at my tactical decisions and whatnot, but just, you got to live with it. I'm, I'm a decent manager in FM. I've won enough competitions before. If I lose a few with Leicester... What am I going to say? I mean, it's a Romelu Lukaku coming on in extra time. That was what did us really in the Carabao Cup. Nothing we could do about it. Here's Lionel Messi, though. 38 years of age at this point, I believe. A very good long-range free kick, but it does go over. And 70 minutes in, it's still 0-0. And the fans that have came down to watch us play PSG today to the King Power Stadium, I'm sure will be pretty bored. And um, thanks to the stadium expansions we're having, though, we are getting, like, record-breaking gate receipts at Leicester City, which is always good to see. Um, Kimpembe there. Madison just decides to stop and give up on that for no reason at all. Maybe he's got something in his mind to try and win this back, but a lot of players based on the average match rating are playing terrible today and I'll be hooking a lot off after this highlight. But first, Sumaro is going to play a long ball to shoulder up. who scored that big goal, of course, in the Carabao, but's having a poor performance today. Finds Pedro Goncalves, pulls it back to Calvert-Lewin. It has gone wide. I thought we'd scored there, but no. Good save from Donnarumma. And with that being said, it's time to bring some players on. Just had a bit of a freshen up, a new forward line of Ian Acho and Dakar. Also brought on Sammy Braybrook for some good experience in the midfield there. I mean, the tie overall is done. Like I say, I just would like a win in today's game. But based on this match so far, it doesn't look like that will be the way that it goes. Our French left back though, Truffer, having his first good performance for the club against the French team, which is nice to see. Hopefully he can keep that on and kick on from... Uh, hopefully he can keep that up, should I say, and kick on from this position. But here's Braybrook to Gavardiol. Maybe we can get one goal here. One highlight would be nice. Here's Bayern Deer. Play Soyuncu through. Soyuncu's going to try and progress up the field to Dewsbury Hall, who is hassled and harried by Fabian and does lose it to him. And oh, I'm really disappointed now if they go and score. Fabian to Mbappe. I can see this happening already. There's Lionel Messi. There's Neymar Jr. Outside Bayern Deer. What a fantastic save that was. This guy is top class. There's been a few times where we've nearly sold him. Um, but, you know, you've got to keep him when he keeps performing this way. Penalty genius as well. If we ever got to a Champions League final penalty shootout, I would back him. Whether I'd actually back our penalty takers, I'm not too sure about. But our goalkeeper, I'd put a lot of faith in. Here is PSG going forward, though, with none other than Kylian Mbappe. Captain, fantastic for PSG at this point. Here's Lionel Messi, though. True fact as well on him. Good performance today to get a 7 rating against Lionel Messi. But Adria Zola is in, takes a shot. He scores for his first goal of the season. Probably his first goal for PSG or something like that as well. Um, and we're going to lose a match again on camera. Fantastic play, right? Oh, I really hope we can back this up by winning some competitions this year. Honestly, two diabolical games to record on camera. It's a late night here as well right now. I'm recording this late at night thinking, well, I can come on, record a video, watch us win a Carabao Cup. I'll be happy. We'll win a Champions League match. No, we lose the game. We lose both games. We are through in the Champions League, though. I don't know who will be playing just yet. Um, but in terms of teams that have made it through, we have got Bayern Munich, uh, Manchester City are out, which is big news. Inter Milan also out, AC Milan, PSG, Lazio. So currently we have got Madrid, Juventus, I take Juventus, Barcelona, I take Barcelona, Liverpool, probably not, and Man United, maybe, Leipzig, definitely. That was a big shock result. And uh, Bayern Munich nearly went out there, which is a good sign. But it's not terrible in the Champions League here. We could potentially 
go far. Finances are in the mud. Dev Center, we've got a few good young players coming through now if we can sign up these youth candidates. And with that being said, that is the end of today's episode. A bit of a grim one, but at least we're progressing. We're getting near to the end of the season where hopefully, I mean, there's still a treble on our hands. If we can pull that off, it will be absolutely fantastic. And what a season it will be, but we've got to get there first. So smash the like button for me, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.